Hello, dear friends in Christ. Today we've met again. Let's talk about freedom. Everybody wants to be free. I want to be free, and I guess you want to be free. Spiritually, economically, you know, academically, career-wise, in your marriage, wherever you find yourself, you want to be free, and I want to be free. But let me tell you something. If you go with me to Galatians chapter 5, verse 1, continuing from verse 13 to verse 18, Jesus has set us free. But we always find ourselves in chains. We always find ourselves opposed by one thing or the other. At work, we have problems. Monetary-wise, we have problems. In our health, we have problems. We seem to have problems every day. But the Bible still says Jesus has set us free. It makes it a little bit meaningless. But today, let us go into it. Freedom. He has set us free. Why are we not free? If we take, for instance, your health, could it not be that you are not following the dictates that the Bible told us? Not to eat too much, not to drink too much, not to do this and not to do that. All these can be found in the Bible. So he has set us free. The moment we go against them, that is when we find ourselves enchained. In your relationship, morality, spirituality, everything is all about the freedom in the Bible. How well do you follow the precepts of Jesus? He says, love your neighbor as yourself. Are you doing that? If you are not, then why not? Why will you not be in chains? Because nobody will want to love you. If he says, trust him, follow the dictates of the Holy Spirit, and you are not, and you find yourself abusing the scripture, and you find yourself being entangled, being fought against by evil spirits, and you find yourself enchained, it's fool's fault. Jesus has set you free. He has set me free. What are we doing with it? You can always be free if you want to. Freedom is a choice. We live in a world of choices. What you be today will be dependent on the choice you make today. Think about it. What do you want to be tomorrow? What do you want to be in future? It's all about you. Make the right choice today because the freedom is yours. Jesus will not come into your life and force you to do something you don't want to. The Holy Spirit can always be a guest to you and you are a host. Whatever you direct is what he does. Follow the dictates of the Spirit. Follow what God wants you to do. And I tell you, you'll be free indeed. I want to end with this. Most of us have sworn obedience to our bishops. I've realized one thing in life. If you follow exactly what you have been asked to do, you can never be blamed for it because your boss will be blamed for it. Imagine you are asked to put this and that over there on a seat and you do it and people are accusing you and abusing you. It's whose fault? Your boss says you should put it there so he or she takes the blame. If you can put the blame at the doorsteps of Jesus, at the doorsteps of heaven, things will be right for you. And how do you do that? Just trust and obey because there's no other way to be happy and to be free but to trust and obey. God bless you. I was happy coming your way and I will always be happy coming your way. I'll see you again another time. Shalom. Peace. <music>